Exercise three on page 41 is kind of interesting. Um, so um, well, let's just quickly go through this. Looking for identification of acute myocardial infarction, infarction to begin with. Um, can we see ST elevation in lead two? Uh, no. Uh, in fact, you, you can barely see anything in lead two. Uh, do we see ST elevation in lead, through, in lead three? Rather, uh, Nope. AVF? Uh, no, we don't see much of anything in those leads. Uh, let's look at the uh, anteroseptal leads. Any ST elevation in V1? No. ST elevation in V2? No. ST elevation V3? No. Uh, V4? Uh, no. Let's look at the lateral reads, leads. V5? No. Uh, V6? No. And um, we don't even have to look at 1 and AVL because 1 and AVL are high uh, lateral leads. And that means that if if you don't have ST elevation of V5, V6, in other words, if there isn't a distal occlusion of the circumflex, then there isn't going to be a proximal occlusion of the circumflex with ST elevation of 1 and AVL. So um, you would have to have ST elevation of V5, V6 in order to see it in, in um, 1 and AVL. The, the one exception might be um, that 10% of the population who's uh, left uh, ventricle or left lateral ventricle and inferior left ventricle is fed by the circumflex artery, um, but in that case you'd likely have ST elevation in one and AVL as well. Um, anyway, the interesting thing about this ECG is uh, the, the QRS complexes. If you look at lead two, uh, it looks like the patient's asystolic, and uh, this is why you know I, I tell paramedics or try to remind paramedics on a regular basis: um, don't just monitor in lead two. Um, I get people coming to my office saying, you know, Rob what is this ECG? And, and my answer back will be, well, do you have a sample of it in another uh, lead? And the answer is, uh, oh, no, I didn't do that. And uh, so I can't help them. Because even if you turned up the gain on this one, you'd probably just see a bigger, you know, a, a, a wider line and, and nothing else. So important to look at other leads. And it's not uncommon for uh, patients with lung disease like COPD to have tiny, tiny complexes. And that's because um, the monitor doesn't pick up the cardiac signal very well through lung uh, disease, lung tissue. And uh, so again, look at other leads. Uh, lead two looks terrible. Lead three looks terrible. Uh, AVF looks terrible. So, you, you know, in this kind of patient, it might be worthwhile monitoring an MCL1 where you place the positive electrode in the uh, fourth intercostal space, right sternal border, and turn the uh, ECG machine to lead three. So the negative electrodes on the uh, left shoulder, the positive, is sitting over the atria, um, and, and at least then we get some complexes. Or um, do a 12-lead ECG to see what you find there.